news overnight, starting with that shock we woke up to. And it certainly is a shocking, horrible story. A massive search underway right now for a two-year-old boy grabbed by an alligator, his father desperately trying to rescue him. And of course, that happened at one of the most popular resorts in America. It was at Disney World's Grand Flutter, and you see it right there. ABC's Lauren Lister is in Orlando right now with the latest. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, George. This morning, authorities scouring a lagoon using chompers and sonar equipment just searching for any signs of that missing child here at a Disney World resort. We're told that little boy wading into the water just about a foot deep when the alligator snatched him. A desperate search underway this morning for the two-year-old boy snatched by an alligator while wading in a lake at this Disney World resort overnight. The gator swam away uh, with the child, unfortunately, and as I said, we have not been able to locate that child. The father of the boy wrestling the gator to try to free his son. At some point, he did actually wrestle with the gator to try to recover his son. This morning, at least 50 emergency personnel on the scene hunting for any sign of the toddler. He was on the third day of a summer vacation, visiting from Nebraska with his parents and siblings. At 916, the first emergency call came in from the Grand Floridian Resort, an upscale resort which sits on the man-made Seven Seas Lagoon. The boy wading in ankle-deep water about a foot from the sandy beach, his father nearby. Suddenly, an alligator between four and seven feet swiped the toddler. The father ran into the water, struggling to pry the boy from the gator's grip. At some point, the boy's mother also ran into the water to try to help. The parents alerting a lifeguard on duty, but nothing could be done. Deputies closing off the area with crime scene tape, helicopters, dive teams, and an alligator trapper on scene. We're putting every effort into uh, locating the, the child and uh, trapping this alligator. According to several witnesses, the family had set up a baby pen about 20 to 30 yards from the water on the sand during the hotel's movie night. The beach had clearly marked no swimming signs, but no alligator warnings. The sheriff's office said there had been no recent reports of any alligator nuisance, but just how many are located in the lagoon is still being investigated. Walt Disney World expressing their condolences to the family. Everyone here at the Walt Disney World Resort is devastated by this tragic accident. Our thoughts are with the family. We are helping the family and doing everything we can to assist law enforcement. And police say they've already taken four gators out of that lagoon, but so far, no sign of the missing child.